good? Yes. How are you feeling? Good. Is that a good day? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so you make a rabbit. Oh. Squeak, squeak. Wait, I want to see the rabbit. Good morning, everybody. Way. There is so much to talk about this morning. But I will start by apologizing for not really being in touch with plenty of people. Um, it's not that I didn't want to, it's just that I couldn't because I was, we all were very um, occupied with trying to help my mom um, on this journey of recovery. As you all would have known, she suffered a, a stroke and she's really trying to get better. She's fighting it, but she's weak. Mm -hmm. She's very, very weak. And um, well, I know my mom is a warrior. I want to say everything that you see in me, I get it from my mom, right? And daddy. But my husband used to always tell me, you have plenty of your mother ways. And that's a good thing. Hey, Mr. Sana? I'm telling you. Yes. Hey, girl, we real miss you for the last video, boy. Mr. Sana without you? Oh, gosh. Oh, the one where you send good morning greetings? Yeah, boy, I real was missing all you, boy. We, we were really tired. We were burnt out yeah. and we needed that. We, that was a much needed rest we, we took that Monday morning But thank you for holding on the fort, Mr. Sana But I really feel like my energy levels up When all they are wrong eh? Yeah, well, yeah. good vibes Good you vibes, know? man And thanks very much for helping me with this situation home That is no problem, man Mr. Sana strong, you know You really help the boy And um, thank you to everyone who has been Um sending the encouragement and support and all the advice um, the different herbs, the different uh, types of therapy physical therapy to administer the different types of food changes in diet uh, the things to do, the things to say lots of you all would have been asking if you all could help and uh, for now the best thing that you all could do is lift her up in prayer. Lift my entire family up in prayer. And trust me, if I need help in any area, I will reach out. Thank you so much. It's good to know that you all reach out to me. I feel so glad to know I have this huge outpouring of support. Thanks to all the family down in Erin who are holding down the fort while I'm not there. My aunties, brothers, sister-in-law, nieces cousins uncles everybody friends everybody who has been going and helping physically mentally emotionally spiritually thank you so much so today i'm going on as a thank you to my husband mr san i'm going to ask him what he feeling to eat today i will prepare it for him hmm what feeling to eat today boy think about it think, let him think about it for a few minutes but um let me see if i can give him a hint the bird on top of the clock when it hits the hour. Yeah. At the top of every hour. Cuckoo. Right. Yeah, cuckoo. You want some cuckoo? <laughs> yeah, well, I don't think you ever make cuckoo on the channel. No, but you know how long I feel and see that. And also, that's one of my mother's favorite. You know, and I want to be close to her in every way possible. So I feel I feel I could, uh, I could do a cuckoo. But it's up to you. I know you like that too, you know. No, I like cuckoo. Yeah. Cuckoo and what? Cuckoo callaloo with pig tail in it. Alright. We go do that. So let me go and get this stuff. Girls! Yeah? What do you think about that? Yeah. Yeah. What do you think we need for cuckoo? Uh, roti. Roti? Roti. Potato? <laughs> no. Roti. Cuckoo is a sort of like a, um, what do you call that? A pie? It's kind of like a pie situation. It's made with cornmeal that you cook that you cook with um, lots of aromatics and flavorings and coconut milk and you put it in a dish to set. It's usually eaten with uh, um, stew fish and vegetables. But fish are real expensive. So 
we will try and do it as economically as possible. Though we not we not in a bad position, you know. It's just we ain't going to spend that amount of money on our fish today. And Mr. Sana? We go do it to the fish. We go do it to the fish. Okay, for the fish? Yeah. Alright then. Cuckoo and stew fish. We're going to buy a quarter carry it. So Mr. Sana go in and get his wish. We will put some fish in his dish and it will be delish. Cocoa and fish, cocoa and fish That will really make a nice, nice dish We going by the fish man, they call him Krish We going and see if we could get a kingfish Hey! Another word for greedy is luck I get that on tape, eh? Yeah I get that on tape, eh? Doing joke now <laughs> Alright babe, so what stops we gotta make? Um, well we gotta get the vegetables mm -hmm. and the seasonings to put in the stew sauce and the one or two other little things to put in the cuckoo. Right. The fish. Yeah. And... What about cornmeal? You think I have some in the fridge now? You think? But I didn't make no pasta for Christmas so it's supposed to have some. You only come here. You can't make a good old boy, you know? Yeah. A nice Chinese grocery here we could go in and see. They ain't gonna have come here. How are you so sure? I, you want, let me make a better hand, let me... Yeah? Let me better and see. What are going on, if I lose? If you lose? Yeah. I could choose. Okay. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. I don't know what I'm betting for. A kiss. God, somehow I know it always needs that kiss, you know. Always know that, you know. So we're going to see if I'm going to lose. You're going to lose. And if you lose, you have to give me a kiss. Yeah. <laughs> go on, meal in here. Get okay, your money now. Let me, go and, let me go and see now, boy. Let me go and see now. They have all kind of things. Like they have jelly, something yeah, inside they it. Them, they have ram, kogia, or something. Iceland ice. Watch me. They have to just sell top up all kind of things inside here. Wait, I find you taking long, boy. You're taking long, you know you're gonna lose. Boy, I got this. <laughs> we ask nobody, eh? we just looking. Alright. Alright, let me see. What's going on? It's better you don't go to Wasa. It's better you go to Wasa. It's better you didn't go to Wasa. Come on, come on, so be like that. We boy. Walk down the side here, let me see something. Pro Masa, Pro Masa, Pro Oh Oh Masa, Pro Eh Eh. Well, this had to be one of the best Chinese groceries ever. Come on. What I did, Mr. Zara? You win, you win, you win, you win. Okay. Watch that. Well, the big bag, they had the small bag. The diamond thing. Okay. He had nearly fly off his head, they already lose it. Oh. <laughs> so what now? So it's you lose. But I think this is the only thing. Look, look, look. Just so, just so, just so. You get one thing. Yes, 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 yes. One and one. How do you feel? You're happy you get your promise or Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Try this one now, let me see. Hey, how you doing? I did. Yeah. You look good, yeah. boy. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I take him. This crab flavor. I studied, you know, I lost that bed there, boy. You still studying that? Yeah, I really didn't think them that I, that damn um, grocery with a half from us. But you still get to kiss me. Well, that's the thing. I wanted you to kiss me. <laughs> well, let me, let me come so up with I, a, I lost, I let lost me come that. up with our next bet. I bet we will not get fish by Mickey. I bet that we, we will. All right, so if I lose and we get the fish, I gotta give you a bath. Yeah. Okay. 
So where we is here? We buy my partner Mickey. I don't remember Mickey when we did the fish and chips some time ago. Yeah man, a bit fresh and coral junction yeah. here. Fish fries high boy. Fish fries high. <laughs> but um, you, you didn't have a big kingfish that you could have cut and, and give you from? Um, yes. I prefer the kingfish, you know. The ancho, the fish, the salmon, not the ancho. No, no, we want to get... If, if, if we could get a piece of kingfish. Yeah. But we are in the butter, you know. Mm. But, um, you can take this stuff. Okay, so you have one Alright. Yeah, let's take it. Alright, cool. Yeah, man. We go eat twice from that. <laughs> we go eat twice from that. Because watch me, if you go to buy two chicken, it costs more than this fish, you know. But this land straight, straight. Straight, straight cut. Take off the eyes and teeth, don't you Take off the teeth. 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 Take off you see the prices, boy? Yeah. Our next couple months, we will drop back one. You feel so? Yeah, because I'm not everybody starting to map, so I'm going to come to her. Yeah. Oh, look, he's selling a um, thing to open coconut. Show me the movement again, there, Mickey. All right. How, what's the price, man? 140. 140. Stainless steel. All right, Mickey boy, take care. Thanks. Say hello to the family. So I lost the bet. You lost the bet. Yeah, we got the fish by Mickey. Yeah. So Adige, Give it one time. Adige, one time in front of everybody in El Dorado here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we walk around to see if we get a little vegetable yeah, or something. Call me cricket hat, you know why? Yeah, why? We're gonna play some cricket. Oh, yeah, by the cricket ground there. Yeah. <laughs> well, last year we walk, but hey, look, fig tree wise. Long time you walk this road, boy. Last time I walked this road was a year and a half ago. Oh my gosh. When he was terrorizing people. Yeah. When he, when he had the episode. <laughs> I hear you walk up and down this road about four times. Yeah. You see where this lead? We tuned into a meeting last night. Uh, one of the things that they were saying, uh, I want to send a special shout out to my friend Suk and his wife Jill. They encouraged us to, yeah, um, to finally log up on to a narcotics anonymous meeting and i must say it was wonderful and one of the key things that they said is that at the end of each day take a self inventory morning morning morning, morning. 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 i'm more familiar with with the aa teachings but all of these programs they are similar in nature yeah and it's important to you know follow the guidelines I know about the 12, the 12 steps. Yes. I think it's 10 steps in A. Yeah. And one of the one of the persons there was saying that um, you know, at first they didn't want to come on to the meetings mm -hmm. because they didn't think that they could take anything positive away from that. Yeah. But they got over that mindset, and you know, that person said it's a decision that they they mm -hmm. never regretted afterwards. And you know, one of the things is that um. The way how these programs work is that you realize that you're, you're not in this by yourself. Yeah, you're not in it by yourself. You know? Yeah. There are other people that share in the same kind of struggles. Now, yeah. to be honest with you, I am. Um, I don't 
the Kappa. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You know, some people might still be fighting up with the addiction part of it. Thank the Lord, I don't have any um, cravings. cravings or anything for, you know, like the use of marijuana, right? Um, but it's still a good idea. To yes, have, it's a good idea because it's a very good idea to have to be part of that yeah. support system. Yes. Yeah. Right. So we go and get we vegetables. Well, right. So we went on the five dollars table. This is the bag of pumpkin. This is the five dollars bag of pumpkin. That right. going in the fish and the cuckoo. So we share it up half and half. Right. We look we kind of hard to pull out things while you walk. Like this. Right? Show them the um the tree. Tomatoes. Four tomatoes. How much has come up there? That come up to a uh, carry I think it was twenty-three dollars. So we buy show them the five dollars for a pimento. Five dollars for a pimento. We really had a plant some more pimento. We have to plant, we have to plant, right? Yeah. And another five and some bananas and all that costs seventy-four dollars. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> People must be feeling sorry for me. Who passed it up? There was this boy. And people like to pick up this on the side. No, yes, but what we're showing you all is that with the price of things, this is these are the amounts of things that you have to look for deals and you have to buy in small yeah. amounts. Let me let, let me say um let me say that like a family where one person employed probably working somewhere like CPAP or something. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Watch me, you can't even stretch. You can't even say we use pumpkin. To stretch a meal, eh? To stretch a meal, yeah. yeah. Right? Or tomatoes even. The only thing that you could use to stretch a meal right now is it's onions. Yeah, yeah. Onions. Onions. Now yeah. I gotta say aloo. Yeah. Now even aloo, eh? Yeah. Hey, I bet you when we reach home, nah, 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 the nah. house gonna be locked. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Hey, watch out for hey, this hole always coming out in them video on them boy. Boy Santa boy. Oh, You're making people feel like Ellen. Nah, 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 nah. Don't buy juicy. I like this yeah, juicy, boy. I like this juicy, but don't go and we can sew it. Yeah. But here is that. Um like every time you cook it fish eyes with this juicy boy. <laughs> Curry fish juicy. Yeah, I remember for curry fish. Yeah. I had this juicy. Oh, God. Oh, God. Sarah is looking. Nah, boy, I'm going to change that. Shameful, boy. This is so hard. Why is nothing wrong with that, eh? And the thread hanging out for dear life, you know? Well, we home. So we're going to organize. Let's go. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go, Mr. Sarah. And I'm sure he's going to put on the yellow juicy, eh? And I bet you that the house, I see that the house could be locked, eh? I refuse to engage in any more bets. The whole day you go have me better than losing better and giving bab. It's whole day is bar instead of fish. Alright, so what, what we put in the grind seasoning is lots of shad benny, lots of garlic, a little bit of sive, lots of ginger. Lots of ginger. A little bit of oregano, um onion. And some pudina. Pudina and one or two pimentos. We 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 buffing up with the shadow benny because right now shadow benny is the cheapest seasoning out there and at Mr. Sana had cut the yard and he didn't pick any of the shadow benny so we had to go and buy shadow benny. I bet you we can't find shadow benny in the yard. I bet you we can find. <laughs> All you would believe her, eh? I get real upset. I get real, I, I get real upset, Mr. Sana. For? Because I was going to put the fire side outside and rinse out a drizzle, boy. What trouble is this? This rain, eh? I love the rain. I'm glad that it was in the little plant something, boy. I was going to put my fire side right there in that little corner. Right there. But anyway. So, Mr. Sana, just move fast. Because you don't like to come last. So Mr. Sana done prepare all the seasoning to blend. Yeah. And I put together all the ingredients that will be going into the stew fish as well as the cuckoo. We have a little curry tea, right? It's soaking in some um, lemon water. We get those lemons from Farmer Harry, right? And um, this portion is going to actually be divided into two. We seasoning all. We cooking half today and half tomorrow. Tomorrow. Well, this is then we might fry some fish. All right. Yeah. So this is Mr. Sana seasoning, right? Lots of shadow benny. Lots of garlic. 
onion, ginger, some oregano and thyme, pimento. I had to get half of this for my um, stew fish, right? Okay. Right. So one bundle of five, blending up for seasoning that could season other food later on, as well as stew fish, right? And for the stew fish and cuckoo, we have a medley here. We have a medley, right? Lots of shallow many. I'll go ahead and put a granny split apple inside here. For a little sweetness slash tartness. A little tomatoes, oh gosh, a little pimento, a little five dollars um pumpkin. Oh gosh, don't make it so sorry. <laughs> I'm make, making this song so sorrowful. I'm making this song so sorrowful. All right, all right. We've got our wonderful pumpkin here, as well as our wonderful okra situated to our divine pumpkins pieces. Sweet pepper in the mix and uh, onion. Then we talk about yeah, pumpkin. and well, these things. I'll put this inside the cuckoo. And some of this inside this two fish sauce. And we have a Chinese kielbasa. And we have a Chinese. Mr. Sana lose that bed chopper there. Eh? You see this chopping board? I don't know if Mr. Sana could bring the next small one for me. A wonderful lady by the name of Diane brought this. I didn't get to meet her because I wasn't home, so she left it by my brother-in-law for me. She brought this as well as this. Her husband makes these, all right? And I'll try to get some more information so that if you're interested in purchasing, you all can cut. You all could contact them. I'm getting so excited, Mr. Sarah. <laughs> I'm getting so excited, right? So she gave me this nice big one. I have it right on the center of my island because every time I pass, I want to see it, right? And this nice small one, which Suri says, she said that's her own. That is her own. You know, yes. she um She sleep with it. Yeah, she just put it next to her mm -hmm. and hug it up mm -hmm. instead of teddy bears. Yes. She spelled away these stuffed toys and she sleeps with it. No lie. So thank you, Diane and your husband, for these chopping blocks, you see? You see, we have them front and center. Alright, let me give her a little a little Tease now, boy. I know what you like to see the fresh produce and the colors and the contrasting, and you know, all kind of thing happen. All your mouth watering right now, I could tell because mine is also, yeah. That's shadow belly, yeah. That's shadow belly, yeah. Making your feel to eat a chow, boy, like yeah. a nice pop city chow, yeah, boy, or, or a plum chow, or shadow belly and char, shadow belly and char, all mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. Right. Let, me, let me blend this up here quick and let me go and attack how much coconut you need. Just one. Just one? Yeah, but I bet that you can't blend up that. <laughs> you like you want to watch a kiss up. <laughs> Why you keep saying kiss is ba? ba. You know this ba. You want to watch a ba? Ba. Is that? Somebody messaged me from Australia. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me they have a kangaroo for it. Yeah, we taking that too. Sazana, that's my real good boy. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. I like your setup. Yeah, well, the seasonal are falling there, they're going in the fish. Oh! Yeah. Oh! He's a thinking man. A thinking man, yeah. <laughs> Boy, that looking good to season up that money. Could you have in that freezer, anyway? Tell me, boy. Save some. I will, yeah, I'll cook it tomorrow. Tomorrow? Tomorrow is Friday. Take the coconut or not? Well, of course. We don't waste seasoning in this house. I ain't washing my blender, you know? Huh? No, I'm going to blend up coconut. So, all the seasoning is going to remain in there. <laughs> My mouth water with that. 
Yeah. Because it it real it sound real appealing. Yeah. Yes. So um, what going on here is that I cut up everything for the stew as well as the cuckoo. Now watch what going on here, right? This side of the board here is for the cuckoo because you notice I chopped the ingredients differently, right? And on this side of the board, that is for the stew fish. Mm -hmm. Right? So we had them chunky and nice, right? Sweet pepper, but bell peppers, some pimento, onion, your granny smith apples, pumpkins, okra, tomatoes. But in the middle here now, this is neutral ground. This is like your fresh green seasoning. Right? So we will take a little bit and put on that side when it's time to cook. Take a little bit and put on the side when it's time to cook the cuckoo. Right? You ain't getting my close-up shot, man. These people like the close-up shot. Hey, hey, you know what I forget? I can't believe I forget to put some garlic in there. Well, the seasoning has a lot of garlic in All right, the seasoning has a lot of garlic. Mr. Sane, are oh, you yeah, ready for the coconut? Yeah. Um, no, anytime we go in for coconut, yeah. we say, where we going? For... We go in the carcass. The oh, yeah, let me go. <laughs> right? We go in the carcass. We go in the carcass. Look my son. Stay quiet. <laughs> hey, my son, there, you know. How you looking nice, oh, Danny? How you looking nice, oh, Danny? I don't know. <laughs> Sana looking pretty? Yeah. <laughs> How much coconut you want? Um, well, I will want for the um, just one. One good, though? yeah. All right, you stand up on any that dry bunch, you know? No, nah, man, I, I nothing I go up, man. All right, I've taken a chance to show all you. This is directly under a coconut tree. Look how pretty it is now. Oh. Mr. Sana nervous for me. I'll go in now. Don't worry, but look how pretty it is. Tropical Caribbean. Just in your feet, you know. <laughs> I had a good time, nice. man. Nice. Wood! You're not what? You're no. Since I know you, I know seeing your tribute. You see you? No seeing. I find it is only when your belly full, you just talk nice things to me, you know. Well, here we're going on your hot-off your system to talk. And I like to see you. Okay, Mr. Daddy. Okay, Mr. Daddy. Yeah, yeah, you give me talks, why? Mm-hmm. Mental is empty, I'm saying. Your mouth. Mental is empty. Yeah, yeah. You're right, Your mouth well hot. Yes, sir. Bring air. Go on that side. Go on that side for me, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, go see my fire side and all the wood. Bring it and rest it right there for me, please, Nad. Bring, bring fire side. Go on the next side as if you're going down the step. The step down there? Yeah. Uh, that front tire, listen. Yeah, front tire. Yeah, like the man pick up fire side and you, you right in the corner there. Alright. Yeah. Pick up wood and everything, you know? Mm -hmm. You're real good. Yeah, if you can have some nice tank, I mean, you know, Tank a bean. Yeah. yeah. Get that wrong here. We go make do with this man. All right. You know how to light fire side? No, nah, it's not how to light it. It's not how to Oh, but they have a plan there. We want it to dead. Oh. Yeah, but it's right in the center. Yeah. Righty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, so this is going to sound the water. Right. Them yeah. Them yeah. And this comes from sauce. Oh, you have a happy, happy chili. You have a stone to put here. Yes. Yeah, well, look look that's happy chili. Look. look at that stone there. That's yes, not. Yeah, um, wait, mm. that's a flat yes, no, no. Yeah, that's what we're saying. Yeah, yeah, panic, so. Yeah, panic, so, right? Well, this is kicks. Yes. <laughs> yeah, right? Mm. Normal, right? It balance? Yeah, balance. Very good. These are Indian? Yes. Bala half Indian. Balancing? Half Indian, half Chinese, half African, and half. <laughs> but I can't even do that much. <laughs> but I'm glad. I'm <laughs> glad. I'm glad for the mix. I'm glad for the mix. Yeah, look nice. Look nice one. Thank you, my it's son. Mr. Hassan? Which is good, yeah? I don't want to have you. Nothing's so nice. Nothing's so nice. You love me. Yes. Don't cut your finger, eh? I know. Please. Ready for trying? 
Yeah, we bring in every we bring in everything for you. No, not for me, son. Not to lie down. I oh. just you know, sir. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We had it. Nice coconut boy. Uh. I'm so glad we stopped selling these nuts, eh? Mm -hmm. If fellas wanna pay me two dollars, three dollars for coconut, I say boy, better we keep me coconut and let them dry. Yeah, boy. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad. Ten for coconut, you know? I'm glad you. I'm glad you stopped giving away your nuts. <laughs> Start a pulse. So here, so here what I do, rather than run them up, run my blender for too long, yeah. I burn the motor. I will leave this every time when I give when I pass. I will not let it. Alright, so while Donny and them get in the fireside up and running for me, we will deal with our cornmeal. Alright, so this is it, right? Promasa cornmeal. Now this what you have here it's dehydrated which means it's going to take some rehydrating right now some people have mastered the technique of starting off their cuckoo with warm water and gradually adding the cornmeal the dried cornmeal flour into the mixture into the liquid stirring and they when i say master it they could do that without getting any lumps in the cuckoo but in order to do that, uh, you're going to have to have real patience and I'm trying, um, trying to move real fast today. So, the other technique that you could use is you could soak your corn flour, right? I have my enamel cup here. And I'll put like maybe one and a half of this. That's a lot, right? One and a half of that. And we are going to soak it with cold water we're not going to use warm water why because from the minute you start to add warm water to this your corn flour is going to start to cook and it's going to start clumping up and that's where you're going to get lumps all right so let me just add some water right yeah and you just mix it now as it's cold water, you just keep mixing. The lumps are gonna come out, eh? When you keep mixing. So I think I'm gonna have a switch. Yeah. So, and we will need more water in this situation here. Yeah, one time. Okay, so you see, your cornmeal here, soaking nice. It has absorbed plenty of the water and it plumping up real good this is what we're looking for you see that you see that yeah so that when you start to cook it you're going to minimize the risk of lumps and such right so let me start let me leave this to soak a little bit okay and over here i have i'm gonna use this main dish right i just oil it with a little coconut oil and i have this little one just in case because you know it's cornmeal and it is real yield and then I just know when Sori see this she will say that she want to right Sana could wash real fish Sana could wash real fish he is the main fish washing man he is <laughs> so I'll, let me deal with the cuckoo right in my pot you see this is coconut oil and we're going to throw in our ooh, our aromatics and such to start flavoring up the pot. Throw in everything. Okra, carrot, pimento, some garlic, pumpkin. Ooh, look how pretty, boy. Yeah, man. If I had corn, I'd have put in some corn inside here too. So we're just going to let all this cook. Sort it down nice. Sweat out. Let all the flavors um, mingle, mix, marry, get together. Where does cuckoo originate from? Mr. Sana, you know? 
who I think is an African dish. Correct. It yeah. originates from West Africa. Mm. And a lot of the islands in the Caribbean, they love um, incorporating that dish in their cuisine, in their, um, in their local cuisine. I know in Barbados, they usually serve it with flying fish. All right. And I think they call it in um, another country fungi or fungi. You ever hear? That is in Guatemala. I don't know. In one, of, in one of the maybe somebody could clarify that. Yeah. But there is is F U N G I E. How you pronounce that? Fungi. Fungi. Well, I don't know. Or fungi. <laughs> or fungi. <laughs> you stick to cuckoo, eh? Yeah. yeah. Cuckoo. Cuckoo also means hello in French, right? Now I want to show all you something. I want to show all you something, right? This book. It's called Koti Si Koti La and uh, it's a book that contains a lot of uh, um, I'm going to pull my chair, a lot of local slang and the meaning of it. Alright, so I went in there to see what they would say about cuckoo. Alright, now uh, the first thing they said was that it is in fact a cornmeal mixture okra's coconut milk it's a Barbadian dish served with flying fish there's also a saying cuckoo do soak so I guess what I mean cuckoo do soak cuckoo do soak yeah. well, it, it means to say that if you remember that a person that ignorant uh -huh. they wouldn't take any advice correct it, it, it. What I'm seeing in the book here, it says we don't pull or get along, which means all you do saddle. If you cuckoo do soak, means all you do saddle. There's also one more saying, your cuckoo cook. I wonder if Mr. Sana knows that boy. You can make a guess? Cuckoo cook. Yeah, when you cuckoo cook. When you cuckoo cook, it means to say your dog's dead. Oh, well, yeah, in real in trouble, trouble yeah. yeah, in real trouble. Watch me. Real pressure going and take it if you cuckoo cook, right? So let me see. Yeah man, everything sorting up nice. Smelling good. I want to rename this book, you know. Koti C, Koti Larry. Cuckoo soaking up nice there. Yeah, this is the book. Koti C, Koti La. Of the second edition. Got real nice things inside here. Real nice things. Watch me. If you want to give somebody a gift from Trinidad, give them this book. And a link to Ellis Food and More. They're the best two gifts you, you can give them. Me? Look, we have fish to fry later. Mm -hmm. And we have these two fish here. Thank you, Mr. Sana. Look. This is what Bachak does look like. Whoosh! It's bigger in the book, boy. Coconut bake. Bob Dean. Yeah? Batty Manzel. And yes, it is in alphabetical order. Hey, hey, Sana! Look here in the, boy, in the um, book here, boy. The YBR. In the book. Don't you? <laughs> mm hmm. So, Sana, can you a cup of water here for me? Please. What, you cook No, a cup of normal water. Right. I'm going to bring that to a boil. Mm-hmm. Hey, you good? Let's see heat a little bit. Mm-hmm. Keep packing up firewood. Keep packing up. Yeah, what are you packing doing? Up. Packing up firewood. Packing up firewood. <laughs> so I'm going to add this. All right. Add as much. What? I try the whole pack. Some of that coconut milk, Mr. Sana, prepare and strain there. Yeah. So you see, we don't want it to get too hot. I want to put some of that green seasoning, Mr. Sana, blend it too. Come nice and green. Mm hmm. Mix, 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 mix. Are 
you can give it a rinse with some cool water and put it inside. Put it in, empty it out in the pot. We will just keep turning on low heat until it cooks and I will show you. What do you think? Uh, two minutes again? Mm -hmm. Two minutes again, eh? Yeah. Right, so get them a dollop and show them how it's looking. See like that? Yes! So we're gonna start to transfer it. Turn off the heat and we'll transfer it to the dish. Mm -hmm. Right. Stop. Raise up. Raise up yourself. Right. You see how that fall out nicely? I like it. Set in one time. It's set in one time, yeah. Put, put some off and now we go bring it to the top. Right. And let me do this little one here too. Let me show them. Mm -hmm. All right. So we have a big cuckoo and small cuckoo, right? It's such a nice, you can see the colors peeping through the air. So as this continues to cool, what is going to happen is that the cornmeal is going to firm up so that you'll be able to slice it nice. Right now it's very, very hot. So if you attempt to cut it, it's going to fall apart. You had to let the cuckoo cool. Right, Mr. Sana? Yeah, man. Leave the cuckoo to cool. Yeah. <laughs> Ready to steal the fish? Yeah, man. Let's go. You need an onion slice up? I have onions in there. All right. Hey, hey Danny. Your fire side look good there, boy. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Watch, watch, watch for, what do you want to pack up this? Where? <laughs> to make joke now, boy. Boy? Well, Sana, you hire um, Maniku wood for tomorrow? Uh, yeah, boy, I'll cook that Maniku tomorrow, boy. Yeah, boy. Watch that. That, 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 that ring stove walking, boy. The ring stove. Yeah. Right, so we put in a tablespoon of oil in there. And bring the spoon now, you got to start a. Turn this flower. It's like a local kind of roux. Yeah. Turn it on. I add some ketchup inside it to fry up. Oops. Add. Right. I bend the camera there. Sorry. Do I hand? Don't worry, all them lumps will um, disappear. Throw in all these things. Look. Yum. Oh, shucks. A little piece of seasoning. Way, boy. Mm -hmm. Sorry, they. Bad luck. Check the fireside lean now, boy. <laughs> Yeah, you might recognize it, do it, eh? Natural. Natural. True talk, don't lie. True talk, don't lie. Yeah, man. Right, let that come up to a bubble and boil. All right. Boy. So we're going to add a pack of this flavor the pot inside there. I think there's too much heat here, you know. Well, you don't feel like too much heat? No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. Summon this here, just a little tablespoon. And Mr. Sana going and put the ooh check technique now. Boy. Wow. Your foot like it cooking. We'll move it from there now, boy. You're going right where the breeze blowing. <laughs> it's it's two fish we want, not two foot. Well, I like a manicure. But why are you going there? To make the video exciting. Oh gosh. I want to excite up the video. By getting your foot oh bottom. <laughs> Let me see. Everything cooking up nice. Yep. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Real fire. Turn them day. Turn them day. How are you looking? Looking boss. Mm. 
Ci si ripone la stessa cosa. Lemma. Hai fatto di walk a like it? Di te, sei un pazzo? Sì, sì. Sì. Correct? Everything, everything. And here now, the fish ain't going inside there, you I know, right? Somebody could make this and drink this like a fish rotten. Like a soup, eh? Like a... Like a... Two, um, two crab flavor? Yeah, because it's a big pot of sauce. Well, boy. Right there. It's like a fish broth. But that, that could be a soup in and of itself. Yeah. Like a tomato-based vegetable yeah. soup. Yeah, Drop like a carnation milk in there and that turn into a, a, a shrimp biscuit. You know? <laughs> Without the shrimp. Without the shrimps. <laughs> so what to do, bring the fish now? Bring the fish. All right. <laughs> No. Well, what the tail is this? Yeah, lower the stove. We just we just want it on a simmer now. This piece could be mean. Oh boy. Oh boy. Turn she one time because we ain't turn this too much. Mix it up. One Ready? thing I like, we have plenty of sauce. We could feed about 25 people here today. Yeah. Right. In these times, let me tell you something. You see, in these hard times, mm -hmm. every time anybody come by you yeah. and they want five and five and six pieces of meat, yeah. tell them, hey, in these times, yeah. there's one piece of meat and you rest. get about three spoon of sauce. All right, right? yeah, daddy flavor. Right now, yeah. We have about nine pieces of fish there. Yeah. Hey, nine, ten people can comfortably. And plenty of sauce. And plenty of sauce. <laughs> yeah. Ah, yeah, boy. We could have. Uh, we, we, we could accommodate probably like about eight more vegetarian dishes. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Um, gently lift a slice of fish. Let me see how it looks. Right. You see how it's done how to turn opaque? That don't need much mm. more cooking, eh? No. Do turn on that. So what we will do, we'll just leave this here for like about uh, four minutes again and remove it from the heat. And the carryover heat is going to finish cooking the fish. We we see if I would we all do this one time. Yeah. Bye for the maniku. 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 Yes. I just love how the sky is looking, boy. Real nice, boy. Pretty good. This fella smelled the cuckoo and decided he wants to be a part of the situation. This is a siki. You watch me, he wants to pick me. How much picky done pick me already? Right, let me see. Hold on, hold on. Let me show them how pretty he is, my man. Pick him, pick him. See the yellow belly? See the yellow belly? Yeah. <laughs> what happened to you? You're really easy. That's a key. Yeah, that's a key. Go, boy, go. That's a key. <laughs> All right. Let me see. Mm. Cut it nice and smooth. Mm -hmm. It's still a little hot, you know. So this this big one could do it a little more setting. Yeah. Look how nice that come out. Mm. I feel you only playing thing, you know. I feel you only playing thing, you Focus know. on the thing now. Focus on the thing now. It need a little more setting, you see? For our next piece for you? No, well, of course. Yeah, it's setting up nice, boy. Watch, mm -hmm. watch, watch. Mm -hmm. Like punch cake. Mm -hmm. Punch cake, yeah. That you there, Mr. Asada? Yeah, I just had to add one more thing here. What is that, boy? This is some, um, what do you call this? Chalta. chalta. Yeah. Mango chalta. That's spicy, eh? I love it. Ay, ay, ay. Mm. So you mm. slice piece of the cuckoo. Cut it like the butter here, week. Like you the butter? butter? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Some of the sauce. Right, I like how you flip your hand and you do it reverse. Mm. Cuckoo melting in, in my mouth. While it's melting, only fish sauce. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. You're mingling with it. Oh, oh gosh, I'm dribbling, I'm dribbling. The seasonings. <laughs> you taste on everything? Mm -hmm. The expensive tomatoes. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I taste that. The fresh coconut milk. Ooh. Oh boy. Yeah, man. All I have to do is pull my chair by my coconut tree. All right, well, I go yeah. and dish out mine. Mm -hmm. So, you know, Ellis just had a plate it up special for all you, right? So, you see my cuckoo there in the corner. Yeah, I put some of the vegetables and some of the sauce on it. Mm-hmm. See? Give me fish. Cook. Perfect, it's not falling apart. That sauce looking rich and nice. Yeah, we chowed to add char on the side there. We little lettuce. The only thing is I would have like a piece of yellow salad to go with it, but I couldn't um I couldn't find any this morning, boy. But yeah, boy, look at thee. Look at thee. Them, them fellas go on and they eat without me. So you see, look, my a little plate there. Oh gosh, my sauce in a leak out there, my boy. <laughs> right, so we slicing. And you really had it like Santa. Scoop up this sauce backwards. When I tell you, mm. when I tell you, my mouth was red. Mm. Tasty. <laughs> Marvelous. <laughs> yeah. Woo. Wow. You wouldn't believe that's cuckoo. Mm. It holds any shape, you know. But when you're eating it, it's melting in your mouth. The fish sauce, not overpowering at all. Just the right balance of um, salt and seasonings and flavorings and such. Marvelous. <laughs> the vegetables cook, but they still have a little crunch. And you get getting that nice fish flavor in that sauce. I even taste a piece of that fish yet. My gosh. Dip it in each altar a little bit. Mmm. That sauce is boss. Mr. Lazar, is this mm. a nice thank you meal? Boy, yeah, thank you for what though? Mm. For just helping me with everything. Oh, mm. all right, all right, all right. Hey, it really is boss. Mm. Thanks for spending your time with us once again. Again, please forgive Alice for not um, for not responding and not replying right away. You see my plate full, literally and figuratively. And um, there are so many people that ask me to shout them out, and I will. Please bear with me. I just ain't get the time. I ain't get around to it. Um, but it's coming, you know. Um, thanks again to everybody who holding down the fort with mommy, with mommy down in Erin. My heart goes out to everybody down there, and um, I wish I was there, but my kids have school. We're still trying to make arrangements and come up with a system, mm -hmm. you know. Um, but I put it all in God's hands, and I know He will make a way. Um, pretty sure. Will, uh, I'm very very confident yeah I know I know my God is great he's great and he's awesome and he's working and his will is perfect <laughs> so thank you once again for all the support I love all you I love all you from the bottom of my heart and I can't stop saying thanks right my heart is filled with gratitude to everybody family friends well wishes everybody so until next time be happy and be safe, be safe. And when you eat this cuckoo, <laughs> you will go cuckoo. Yeah. Are you go? Kaboom! No boy, cuckoo boy. Oh, cuckoo! It's cuckoo! It's cuckoo!